guys, I am Spencer Riley from Riley and the Roxies. I am going to break down for you my top five plugins that I use for mixing and production. I do pretty much everything for Riley and the Roxies except for mastering. I have an amazing mastering engineer, Ruben Cohen at Larson Mastering. He makes all the stuff that I do in the computer sound more analog because he actually runs it through his analog gear. So my top number one is Addictive Drums. I'm a drummer, I grew up playing drums and I love Addictive Drums by X and audio. If you've never used it, you should download it. If you want real sounding drums, if you want like to do stuff like Tame Impella or like Led Zeppelin or whatever, and you don't want to record a kit, which oftentimes I don't feel like doing, it's amazing. They also have a drum trigger that you can use all the same samples for if you do want to record some real stuff and blend it. It's an amazing deep plugin. Even Tide Harmonizer by Universal Audio is insane, and I use that a lot on this new music for Island Roxies. It basically is like a doubler with like some modulation, and so I use that on vocals a lot. It makes it sound kind of like Phil Collins-y vocals, very vibey. And then I would say next is probably the Teletronics LA-2A Gray by Universal Audio. We use that when we record stuff at our studio. I use it on vocals, snare drum kick, which is like the most important things to me. It's amazing, really analog sounding, really warm, smooth. And then I would say the Lexicon, I think it's the 220 reverb by Universal Audio. Insane sounding, like smooth reverb, really ambient, really modern sounding. It's great for like atmospheric stuff. And then I would say the Cooper Time Cube by Universal Audio as well. That thing is really, really cool. And I just love what it does to guitars and snares and drums. It's like usually uses a parallel reverb slash delay sound for everything. So those are my top five plugins. Check them out and thanks for watching.